This is the implementation of Grover's algorithm that I showed in the last video. Start by putting our system in the uniform superposition, and we apply the oracle. This specific oracle marks the state one, one. And then we do a reflection about the uniform superposition, which is what the remainder of this circuit is doing. And a reflection about the uniform superposition is the same thing as applying two Hadamard gates, then doing a reflection about zero, which is what these three sets of gates are doing, and then applying a Hadamard gate to each of the qubits again. So the way we're thinking about the reflection about zero with these three gates is we're thinking about negating the amplitude in front of all of the basis states besides zero and leaving zero unchanged. So this first set of gates is negating the amplitude in front of the state one, one. The second set is negating the amplitude in front of the state one, zero. And this last one is doing the remaining combination zero, one. So rather than thinking about negating the amplitude in front of all states besides zero and leaving zero unchanged, we can do the negative of that, which is negating the amplitude in front of the state zero and leaving everything else unchanged. Now this isn't the same transformation, it differs by a negative sign. So if the result of doing a reflection about zero is the vector v, then the result of this new transformation where we just negate the amplitude in front of the state zero would be negative one times the vector v. But of course, that negative sign just goes along for the ride for any other transformations we apply to the state. And when we make a measurement, it doesn't affect the probability of collapsing the system to a specific state. So that is to say that we can replace these three sets of gates with a single set of gates that performs a negation in front of the basis state zero. And that gate looks like this. So if we run this experiment, we should see that we find the system to be in the state one one.